edition of Code Java Tutorials. Today we'll see switch. Switch is a selection statement through which Java provides multi-way branching. Uh, switch can only test for equality. Okay, wherein uh, when we compare this with your if if uh, checks for logical and also equality. But switch can only test for equality. This is one difference you need to keep in mind. Um, it's better alternative for larger series of LC flatter. Okay, so uh, when you're having more number of LC flatters, your program's readability reduces. So and also efficiency reduces in evaluation in, in evaluating all those conditions. So the better alternative is uh, switch. And then the expressions in the switch should contain uh, of a byte, short, int, char, enum. And from Java uh, J2SC7, they have added strings uh, uh, to be expressions. And next is the value should be literal value compatible with expression type. So the case values that we are talking about should be compatible with the expression type. And uh, duplicate case values are not allowed. So you should not have duplicate case values. And break is used to jump out of the switch, which is optional. So it, it, it's optional. You can have or you may not have, depending on the logic that you are uh, producing in the program. And switching on strings is more expensive than switching integers. No, like um, using the switch, uh, 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 strings inside the switch is very costly in the sense like uh, uh, the time complexity increases when comparing strings rather than comparing uh, integers checking equality on integers so when you need strings and it is a must that uh, you have to compare or check equality of the strings in switches then only use it else try to ignore uh, try to uh, avoid it as much as possible and nesting switches is allowed so you can have one switch case inside the other and the, as I said, like the duplicate case values are not allowed. But when you are having switches, one switch inside the other, then the case values can be same. Like the outer switch case uh, case value and the inner switch case value can be same. There, there is no restriction on that because once it enters into the inner switch, it will be evaluating only the inner switch. So there will be no conflict between the case value of the outer switch and the case value of the inner switch. And then default label is optional. So we'll be having a default label like uh, um, uh, like else in the else if ladder. We have an else which is optional, which will be printing the default values when none of the uh, if and else if conditions evaluate. Uh, then by default else will be evaluated in the same way even here in switch cases you are having you can use default labels at the end of the switch uh, cases uh, which is optional like it's not mandatory that you should be having a default label keeping all these points in mind let us just look into the general form of the switch uh, so switch the syntax is switch which is all written in lowercase uh, then it takes in an expression so the expression can be like uh, um, it, it can be of any of the data types that I mentioned like it can be byte short int like all these data types can be there and uh, uh, so I can also say like uh, um, uh, switch 20 into 30 also I can have so this is very valid because I can have any kind of expressions I can have characters okay so I can take in some characters or I can also take some strings into it so all those data types that I have mentioned there can be your expressions now there is an open bracket here and then uh, there is a closing bracket here so in between this open bracket and close bracket you will be writing all your cases so this is your case which is all written in lower case okay so then space followed by some space and white space and then we are saying value one so the expression that we are talking about here and this value should be compatible in the expression i am trying to take a string type and here for the value i am trying to give a cat type so there is no mismatch so it should be compatible even if you give uh, integer here and character here then this is okay because integer and character are compatible but string and char are not compatible and string and integers are not compatible so you should be may you should be sure that the expressions and the values here are compatible okay so and uh, then uh, uh, 
so the expression is passed over here and this expression is checked for equality of these particular values that's why we said in the first point that switch can only test for equality so it will be checking for equality between the expression and the values if any one of the value is matched then that case is executed so that's the logic over here so whatever you pass here in the expression this expression will be matched with value 1 if this value 1 is matched then this statement sequence of this case will be executed and since we are giving a break then what happens is the control goes completely out of the switch okay so completely goes out of the switch these cases will not be executed because we have given a break over here okay say that the expression that we have given didn't match with this case value 1 so what happens the control now comes to case 2 and checks for equality between this expression and this value 2 if it matched then what happens this statements will be executed and this break will be executed and the control will go completely out of the switch okay so this is how actually it works in case if i don't give this break this giving this break is not mandatory you can it's optional it, it depends on your logic sometimes i don't want break in the cases so it's not mandatory if you are not giving break what happened for example i didn't give break over here so whatever is the first match so the expression is matched with the value one over here so since this is the first match what happened is this statement will execute not only this statement since there is no break over here the consecutive cases all the cases in the switches will be executed even the default will be executed okay so since we didn't give the break over here since it will encounter break in the case 2 then it will stop over here first and 2 will be executed and it will stop in case if i didn't give break here then what happens even value 1 because this is the first match and since I didn't give a break over here, value 2 will be executed and also value 3 and till value one n will be executed. Since I gave a break over here, this default will not execute. In case if I just didn't give a break over here, then what happened? I didn't give break in any of the cases. Since I didn't give break in any of the cases, after the first match, say that value 2 is matched this is a first match of the expression so after value 2 all the case values next to that will execute even including the default statement and then only it will go out of the switch okay so this is the importance of break inside the switch it is not mandatory based on your logic you can just construct that and also this default is not mandatory this is optional if you want you can have this will act like uh, if none of the values are matching then you need to tell user something so you will be telling that in the default uh, label over here this is a label because uh, i mean default and then we are putting a colon so this is a label so you can write whatever you want inside this uh, label okay so this is the general form of uh, switch we'll see the flowchart of switch now okay well friends let us look into the flowchart of switch uh, so uh, this is the expression and the expression is uh, checked for equality with the case values so that's what is happening over here and for each and every case uh, uh, after evaluation there are two possibilities one is like uh, the match is there and the other one is that the expression is unmatched so if the expression is matched with the case value then statement one which means that the case statement case one statements will be executed and if it encounters a break then the control goes out of the switch okay so break acts like it jumps out of the out of the switch okay right if there is no match like there is an unmatch with the case value okay so then it goes to the second uh, case and then checks for equality between the expression and the case value and again the, then again the two possibilities like the one is like matched and unmatched if it is matched again the case two statements will be executed then a break is encountered and then it goes out of the switch okay so if there is an unmatched then the consecutive like you can have any number of cases over here and then it checks for possibilities of matched or unmatched at each and every case and then finally the case n okay so again if there is case n it comes the control comes to case n in two situations one is like none of the case values have matched and the second possibility is that we didn't give break 
in the previous cases which have been matched with the expression value in that cases the, the control comes to case n so again if it is matched then the statements in case n executes then break and then it goes out of the switch and uh, if the final case also didn't have a match with the expression then the default uh, label will be executed so then then what happens is then uh, the statements in the default will be executed and then you don't need to give a break over here because this is the last statement in the switch obviously after this it goes out goes out of the switch so you needn't give anything over here so okay so this is all about switch flowchart let us take look take a look into switch programs now let us just take a look at this particular program so inside this program we have given a loop so this loop is iterating for five times for the values 0 1 2 3 4 okay so five times this loop is iterating so we'll just check for each and every value so for the first iteration i is equal to 0 and we are passing this i is equal to 0 into i so what is the value of i now i value is 0 so it will be making a match so 0 is equal to 0 so it will check for the match so it, it is 0 so there is a match so what happens this case is selected and the system dot out dot print ln and we are asking it asking it to print i value so the output will be so the output will be zero will be printed on the screen and after that there is a break statement here so what will break do break will jump out of the switch so it will go to the next iteration of for loop okay so now i has become one now so this is over so now i has become one so what is the value of i i is one so it tries to match one with zero so it's a mismatch so what happens it, it tries to check with one so there is a match now so what happens this case is selected and this system dot out dot print ln will be printing i on the screen so it will print one on the screen and since there is a break over here so the switch is broken and then it goes to the next iteration of i wherein i value is two now so 2 is uh, the expression now so it tries to match with 0 so there is a mismatch and again it match, ma tries to match with 1 there is a mismatch and now it tries to match with 2 so 2 matches with 2 there is an equality so this system dot out dot print ln will print i on the screen wherein the value of i is 2 so again there is a break over here so it comes out of the switch and goes to the next iteration of i uh, for loop so i becomes 3 now so again it tries to match and check so what happened is there are no cases afterwards over here so there is a mismatch with 0 1 and 2 so the default case will be executed so inside the default case we are saying system dot out dot print ln i is greater than 2 so what will print on the screen i is greater than 2 will be printed i is greater than 2 okay so since this is the last statement it comes out of uh, switch and goes to the next iteration so in the next iteration i is equal to 4 and the condition also matches 4 is less than 5 it's true so it enters into the switch now tries to match with 0 no 1 no mismatch 2 mismatch so what happens the default case will be executed and again it will print i is greater than 2 i is greater than 2 now what happens i value becomes a 5 so it checks with the condition 5 is less than 5 it's false so this for loop will be broken okay and it goes in between this uh, after the for loop and since there is no it comes over here it comes over here since there are no statements here to be executed then it comes out of this program so this is how the switch program works say for example okay hope everybody understood this program so we'll just try to check for different possibilities over here and what happens if you remove certain statements now for example i am re removing this break from here so now take a pause of this video and try to guess the output so we'll check what will be the output here so the output will be so what happens over here is i is equal to 0 right so i is equal to 0 so there is a match with the case 1 so what happens the output will be i value which is 0 
since there is no break what happens what happens because there is no break here it executes the next case even if it is not a match till it encounters the break it keeps this is what is called as a switch fall through this is what is called as switch fall through switch fall through occurs if there is no break statement what does it mean by switch fall through switch fall through occurs when there is no break statement at a particular case which is matched and the rest of the cases also keep executing till it encounters a break or out of the switch okay so that is what is called as switch fall through so since there is a uh, no break over here what happens this also will execute and it will print system dot out dot print ln still the value of i is zero so what happens it prints the value of i which is zero and since there is a break over here it comes out of the uh, switch and goes for the next iteration of i so what will be the next iteration of i which will be one so since there is no match it comes over here and prints the value of i which is one and then goes for the next iteration it will be 2 and for next iteration it will say i is greater than uh, greater than 2 and then it prints i is greater than so let us take a look at uh, some of the expressions okay so i can pass characters uh, as expressions and i can have uh, 65 uh, which is an unicode of a so I can have something like this and this is totally valid because A gets converted into integers and uh, integers and uh, char are compatible. So you can have like this and this is also possible. And here in I said like from J to SC7 you can have uh, strings inside uh, uh, the switches as uh, values, case values and expressions. So this is also possible. I said string str is equal to sudha and I said I'm passing, I'm trying to compare str with the case value. Since there is a match this case will be executed. So this is also possible. So now we will see what is nested switch. This is a very simple program to depict how nested switch works. So we are taking two integer values which are count is equal to 1 and target is equal to 1. And we are passing tag, uh, count into the switch. So this is the expression. And uh, since count is equal to 1, it matches 1 with 1 and this case is selected. So there is a match. So inside this case there is another switch. So this is called as nesting switch and this switch is called as the outer switch and this is called as the inner switch and this is possible. Okay, you can have something like this. It is uh, syntactically correct and inside this switch we are passing target. So what is the target's value? Target's value is 1. So again it acts similar to the outer switch. Okay, so it, it this this small part will act like a switch individually so one is passed so it uh, tries to match with case value so zero no match so it goes to the next case value which is one so this is executed so what is here system dot out dot print ln target is one so what will be the output now so on the output screen it will print target is target is one and after that there is a break and nothing else so this it comes out of this switch and then it means that coming out of this switch means that it has executed case 1. So what is there after case 1? There is a break. If there, if, there is, if there is no break over here this also will execute. So there is a break over here. Means that we are breaking the, this switch and the control comes out of this switch and here. Okay, so if there are any statements here it starts executing them. So the output of this program is target 1. Hope everybody understood this concept. Okay, so that's it friends. Uh, so hope you understood this concept. Um, keep watching for my upcoming Java tutorials. Stay home, stay safe, happy learning. Bye.